Private VLANs and Equinix Internet Exchange. Equinix Internet Exchange, when configured, defaults to public VLANs. Some customers are requesting the ability to provision private VLANs or PVLANs in order to obtain isolation from one virtual circuit to another for security, performance, monitoring. Multiple PVLANs are possible within a single IX port. Extended, BMMR, remote, and metro support is not enabled. Support for PVLANs and IX was possible in the past through manual requests, but can now be supported with Siebel and NOC. Equinix IX Private VLAN Overview. Here we have a logical diagram showing how three separate PVLANs could be configured. You'll see all three customers, Cloudflare, Facebook, and Hurricane Electric, all have ports on our Equinix Internet Exchange platform. But instead of one shared public VLAN, there are three separate private VLANs going from Cloudflare to Hurricane Electric, Facebook to Hurricane Electric, and Facebook to Cloudflare. These are three separate and individual connections, giving a private connection between each participant. Summary of VLAN types. There's the public VLAN. A public VLAN allows customers to receive all routes advertised publicly which we use on our MLPE, or Multilateral Peering Exchange. Any routes customer A shares with our MLPE route servers will be visible to all other customers that also peer with the route server. Private VLAN, which was released in our February 2020 release. A private VLAN allows two companies connected to the IX to share private routes which are not advertised publicly on the IX. Both parties should confirm agreement to share private routes. VLAN ID on customer A must match the VLAN ID on customer B. Private VLAN should be reflected on both customer A and B with the option to tie to port or lay group. Product structure. Here in this table, we show the product structure for this new product offering. The POF part number is IX00009. Prod. The POF name is Equinix Internet Exchange VLAN. Here we have two elements that make up this POF. The elements are IX00009.ELEM, which is for the Internet Exchange VLAN, and it defines whether it is a private VLAN or any other VLAN types in the future. There is also the element IX. 00009.nr, and that corresponds to the installation fee that would be required to set up the VLAN. Note that the customer needs an IX port in order to have a private VLAN. The Z side customer won't be able to terminate any deinstall of the private VLAN that should be initiated by the A side customer. No additional validations or LOA is required in Siebel. Public VLANs are generic and conversion from private to public is not possible. Product attributes. In this table, we're showing the different attributes in this product offering. The two attributes are VLAN type and POF name. The data type for VLAN type will be from a pick list. It is required and you can see the value shown when selected will equal private. The POF name will therefore become Equinix Internet Exchange Private VLAN. The IX portal and ECP will be updated later in 2020 to enable online ordering and monitoring of VLAN traffic. That concludes our learning demo on how to order an Equinix Internet Exchange Private VLAN. Thanks for watching.